So now in this video, we're going to look at the voltage ramp as it rises. So right now this circuit's in a steady state. We'll get to the circuit uh, coming up. But first I'm going to demonstrate the ramp. And there you can see that uh, the voltage went to uh, nothing when we reset it. And now it is rising uh, steadily, providing what is called a voltage ramp. Looks like I got uh, right on to that uh, line there when I hit uh, the button. So there you can see because of the current I'm using, one milliamp, and the capacitor that I'm using, 1000 microfarad, which is the same as a millifarad, it takes one second to charge one volt as long as that current is steady. So there you can see one second, one second across, one volt up, over and over again until we reached our uh, limit. So I'm using an 8 volt power supply right there and my current source could only provide current up to about seven and a half volts but it did pretty well until then so now we cleared the board of the components we'll deal with the switch first and it's kind of the most awkward component to put on the uh, breadboard so the top two pins are always connected to each other and the bottom two pins are always connected to each other so I usually put the middle along where we have a break in the breadboard right there so I know that the top two pins will connect uh, straight across there straight across there and then the bottom two pins straight across there straight across there that's all one connection connecting something here is just like connecting something over there and uh, so that's the switch and uh, the rest we can build around it pretty easily the switch is intended to discharge the capacitor instantly so we cannot use way too high of a value of a capacitor or way too high of a voltage because it's a short circuit but these low capacitance low voltages are just fine so now to set the current we're going to use uh, a little integrated circuit kind of looks like a transistor and uh, there we go it's the lm334 right there and so by using a single resistor you can set a current that it lets go through it if we turn it this way, the uh, so flat side looking us, the uh, left pin is V plus, middle pin is R, and the right pin is V minus, right there. So if we turn it this way, now it is lined up like on the board right there. And so we're going to put the uh, V plus to the orange jumper that goes to the positive rail, and the V minus to the top of the switch right here. To set the current, we're going to use a resistor. So here you can see, if you use a 68 ohm resistor, you're going to get about 1 milliamp of current. That's what we're going to use right here. And so the amount of resistance here actually sets how much current will go through the uh, component here. The It's a current regulator, 3 terminal, basically. And uh, so if you use 10 times the resistance, you'll get 1 tenth the uh, current. And uh, if we used a 6.8, ohm resistor we would get 10 milliamps which is the maximum current for uh, this uh, component and so of course we can uh, check that with the uh, multimeter here so I'll set this to milliamps right there and the nice thing about switches is you can just connect across them so instead of pushing the button to get current to flow through it we can use the probes of the uh, multimeter so this connects directly to the bottom that connects directly to the top and there you can see we have uh, one milliamp of uh, current pretty much spot on so not exact but we're not dealing with exact right here the power supply here is uh, 8 volts I left it on I have current limited though just in case I short circuit or something nothing will get damaged current limited to 20 milliamps of current so now of course to get voltage change we really need a capacitor so this is a 1000 microfarad capacitor which is the same as one millifarad and we can charge it up to 35 volts this side has to be more negative pretty straightforward but uh, in any case I'm going to actually shift this resistor over and uh, we're going to put the uh, capacitor the uh, positive side up there the negative side directly to the negative rail that's the easiest way to make sure this side is always more negative so for each milliamp of current you give this each second it will go up one volt if we gave it uh, two milliamps of current it would go up two volts every second half a milliamp of uh, current for this particular value capacitor you get half of a volt 
every second and so on we could also change the value of the capacitor lower value capacitors will raise voltage faster and higher value will uh, raise slower so now before we move along I just want to point out on the schematic generally you'll probably see an arrow indicating a current source so it's providing a certain amount of current which we already looked at this setup here is one milliamp so if I uh, drew out this in detail I would write 1000 microfarad on the capacitor and one milliamp next to our little current source but if there's a current source likely it will have an arrow it's pointing from positive to negative so it's pointing towards the uh, more negative side of the circuit to indicate conventional current and of course when it comes to a rising voltage it's uh, really best to be able to see it so that blue line indicates when I hit the button and it rises so this is an oscilloscope basically schematic there it's letting you know the waveform that you can expect to see on an oscilloscope so I have this little powered one we will uh, turn it on right now and it's just floating right now we'll probably see a lot of uh, noise but the uh, cable here has alligator clips on the end I just clipped a couple of wires right there and the oscilloscope doesn't let any current through it other than some leakage it's like a million ohm resistor and uh, so it just looks at the voltage but unless you really need to prevent every little bit of current from going through it it really doesn't let any through it so there we go uh, the top of the switch there again is connected directly to that side over there and uh, so now we're directly to the capacitor and to the negative side of the current source and there you can see the waveform and I'm causing noise uh, uh, probably kind of briefly losing connections or whatnot but in case there we have it there is the ramp right there that was all that there was to it we're feeding the capacitor with a certain amount of current and based on its size and the amount of current we're getting a steady voltage rise over time that is the main takeaway. So now that ends this video. Make sure you check out these other videos that I post and uh, click the subscribe button if you haven't. Click the bell so that you get notified more when I upload uh, videos and uh, that would really help a lot. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.